Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our second example of how to apply this method of variation of parameters to first order differential equations that are linear and non homogeneous. Now we'll take a fairly straightforward, easy looking equation right here y prime plus y equals 2. Let's find the solution to that. First of all, we know that this is a linear non homogeneous differential equation because it is in this form right here. Now in this case, f of x will simply be equal to 1, so we can write f is equal to 1 and r of x in this case is equal to 2. Now v can be considered the solution to the homogeneous part of the equation and this would be the homogeneous part of the equation so in this case v is equal to e to the minus integral of f, f of x dx in this case of course f of x is equal to 1 so we know that v is equal to e to the minus integral of 1 times dx. Now notice the method of variation of parameters is going to assume that the solution y is equal to simply the product of some function of x called u time another, times another function of x called v where v is the solution to the homogeneous part and if v is the solution to the homogeneous part then u can be written as u would be equal to the integral of r divided by v and of course times dx now where did this come from well if you're not sure go look at the first video in the series where we go over the theory of how that is derived so first of all, let's find the solution for v. So v is simply going to be uh, e to the minus dx, so it would be e to the minus x. Whoop. Minus x right there. So that would, be, um, that would be the solution for v. So v is e to the minus x. And then u would be r divided by v, so therefore u is equal to the integral of r, which is 2, divided by v, which is e to the minus x. Of course, e to the minus x in the denominator can be moved to the numerator and can be called e to the x and of course also need a dx in there. So this can be written as the integral of 2 e to the x dx and that is fairly straightforward to integrate. The 2 comes outside, the integral of e to the x is e to the x, so this is equal to 2 e to the x plus a constant of integration. Now this is equal to u, this is equal to v, Coming over here, I can now say that y is equal to v times u, so therefore y is equal to v, which is e to the minus x, multiplied times u, where u is equal to 2e to the x plus a constant of integration. And so this method is fairly nice to use, and for an easy equation like this, pretty straightforward. And that's how we use the method of variation of parameters to solve first order, linear, non-homogeneous differential equations. That's how it's done.